Yo, what's up, y'all? It's Escape here. Today I'm watching Tsuke Akita. Um, I might have pronounced that wrong for sure, but this was filmed in one week. It says that in the comment. But a lot of these tricks were done twice for more angles, so this dude's really, really about it. You know, I mean, not that if it takes longer than a week to film something, then that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. That gap looks way bigger. Like, I feel like in person, this thing would look huge. Oh, and this might be one of the tricks that he had to do twice to get that other angle. Because you don't see another camera. Yeah, and this is moving. So, yeah, he did this twice. Wait, are those different tricks? Oh, yeah, they're different tricks. <laughs> Honestly, the first one, it looked like he could have uh, did a front side flip. Man, that was a nice shifty. I wonder which one he did first. Like, maybe he did the kick flip so shifty, he's like, oh, front side flip it, or maybe front side flipped it first. Clean like butter, man. That's massive. I could. I'm just thinking of this. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I could do that. I don't think I could do this. Um, but I do have a pretty nice nolly pop. But I the other way. You know what disgusts me the most about him filming this in the week in a week. That there's so many spots he could even touch in a week. I'm very, very jealous. If you've watched my channel before, you know that I complain about not having spots. Almost every video. So. But I mean, the fact that this is filmed in a week is just a testament to how many spots are in other areas. I mean, if I was on a road trip, I could maybe find enough spots. But there's no, like... A week, dude? That's crazy. Maybe if I skated all day and drove like hours every day, I could maybe find as many spots. That was a sick line, too. I don't want to let that go under the rug. 180ing up that is crazy. And what's what's even stranger about it is um he doesn't adjust. You see 180 up? Like he didn't look close to the edge. He's just like straight on. You know. Dude knows what he's doing. For sure. You see that tray flip again. Yeah that line's nuts man. Clean man. That was cool. Pop out. Oh I like the. The gotta balance push. With behind you. <laughs> I don't know if that was on purpose. I feel like those are never on purpose. But they're kind of cool. Makes it seem like he's really. You know. Like hauling. But yeah. I've seen a lot of these spots really. I've got no problem that I've seen them. Make it a little smaller. See what's going on at him though. Yeah, that spot seems like a very, very popular spot. And what a pretty spot. It looks it looks like you wouldn't really get like kicked out of there. Yeah, this dude's a monster. I mean, there's a reason he's has a bones part. See, that's a trick that, I mean, the fact that all this was filmed in a week is crazy, man. Because that, that looks like a trick. If you went to that spot trying that trick, it might not be one session, you know what I mean? You see stuff like that big, usually they have a change of clothes or something in between. Not all the time. Just say, when you go so massive, it's hard. I love this line. Just, just butter, man. Just clean. 
even that 180, man, off the curb, everything is like perfectly bolts. This is ridiculous, man. Dude's a robotic. I wish I was this crazy that, like, I could go to a whole nother country and just have a filmer lined up somehow. I don't know if they came with them or the Bones guys probably are in California like every other skater ever. Massive, man. But imagine just shutting it down, dude. Going to another country, just shutting it down. That is a massive back three. And it's sketchy, too. Just rolling, like, when you spin that much, it's hard to be on balance. So riding off another, you know, five stair right after, it's just crazy. Anyway, sick part. Definitely go check it out. Bones Bearings posted it. That dude is crazy.